think what we have to do is this is a political question, and I think that there was disingenuous, there was nudge, there were lies. There was it's become clear that in the exchanges there was all sorts of attempts to actually muddy the waters, what he was saying he didn't want to do, to actually obfuscate, to do things that were downright disingenuous and dishonest. Now, the question is, that's, you know, the question of the legal question is another one. I think what's important is that as we're reeling from the consequences of Matt Hancock and Boris Johnson and others of the lockdowns, of the impositions, of the impacts to the care homes and families and people who couldn't see their nearest and dearest, the ongoing measures that were imposed on there, as we're reeling from that, we are able to say never again, why did the pandemic strategy, the preparedness strategy, get jettisoned, that we don't allow the Public Order Act or, the, or that to happen again with lockdowns and that we actually insist that we have a proper pandemic preparedness strategy, okay. not one that the WHO or anyone else puts forward, but that we have, that we say we learn from these, we don't wait five or ten years for the COVID inquiry and we insist never again because many people still right. don't actually realise that the reason we're dealing with some of these cost of living problems and issues in our health sector is directly as a consequence of lockdowns which we should never have had.